Good morning, biscuits. Don't pay attention to the messy house. You can't see it. Don't, is it messy? I don't know. Look at this cute bunny and this handsome fiend. We are going to go out and do some garden. We're going to plant some bulb. Um, I'm going to try and see if I can get any gravel laid in our little gravel pathway that I am very slowly doing with Abraham. He's my number one assistant. Abraham helps rake all the gravel. I wheelbarrow it and then pear bear. She's kind of the manager. She's the overseer. She watches us. She, you know, yeah, you're the manager. You like, you observe and make sure we're doing it right. <laughs> but we're going to try to get outside and do some fun gardening and stuff. Because yeah, yeah, I have a really fun announcement for a project coming up. I'm not sure when I'm going to announce it. It needs to go a little bit further along in the pipeline. But we're almost there. And it's gardening adjacent, let's say. It's something I've dreamed about for years. And we're just now embarking on it. Uh, so it's going to be so much fun. It is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but come along for a beautiful gardening day. Ooh, backlit. I don't think that's the most flattering. But you know what? We're just going with the biscuits. We're just flying free. Bun bun hat is important. Can we keep the bunny hat on? This baby so dislikes hats and shoes and socks. Anything that would keep her warm. She's like, no, why would we why would we wear that, mama? Yeah, no, I know. Yeah. Abraham is looking for one of our big shovels. But I thought I would show you a bit. So we have two raised beds this year. All I have planted so far are just some peas. A little bit, two piece, two things of kale, pre-sprouted. Hey that I got the nursery and yeah, a little bit of broccoli. We're kind of waiting until May to do more because like, it was hailing yesterday. It's just been a little bit too cold. You're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. Yeah, should we get started? Should we get started digging more?
biscuits. Woohoo, we are done in the garden. That was actually yesterday. Now we're up in the morning and I am paying for being outside with my allergies. My eyes are so itchy. I, they're, they're so itchy that I, my vision's actually blurry. <laughs> okay, biscuits. I don't know what part of that I had to cut out with kids walking around, but um, I was trying to read this book that I just got in the mail. Um, but my vision is so blurry and scratchy that I can't do it right now. So I am working on this really fun project that eventually, eventually I will tell you biscuits, yeah, all about. Um, but I'm learning a little bit more about farmsteading techniques and all sorts of things. And I can't wait. I, I mean, I think I'm so impatient that I'm going to show you my project before it's ready to even be shown in the like starting phases, but I'll get there, I'll get there. I think next month I will show you biscuits. I probably should wait until the end of summer until it's like more ready to be shown, but I'm just really looking forward to this. So I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek next month. But I'm very curious, do you have any recommendations for good, maybe homestead's not even the right word, um, but you know like, Making beautiful practical gardens and just all sorts of fun outdoors things. Let me know in the comments what books you recommend. Uh, because I'm really working on bringing this, this dream to starting. That's literally where I like, I'm just working on getting it to start. That's all. That's <laughs> uh, gonna be this really neat experience for people. Yes, yes it is. It's gonna be tasty. <laughs> But right now I can't see. Um, I did clean my glasses with my new glasses cleaning kit, so I was very excited about that. Um, they it, these aren't like reading glasses, but I put them on in the hopes maybe they would just make everything look bigger and I would be less blind. But my eyes are still too scratchy. <laughs> so I'm glad you guys got to join us in our little our little front garden project. Oh yeah, that has by the way front garden project nothing to do with the homesteading project. Two separate things. In case you're like, oh, well, you're ready to no, no, no. We're, we're just trying to like lay some gravel and some plants so that my little tiny um, suburban yard is less muddy <laughs> because it is so muddy that we just can't even use it. Um, I'm going to see you in the next video. I hope Biscuits that you are having a lovely day. I hope it was calm and relaxing to come along to garden with us. I find gardening extremely calming and relaxing in a way that I can't really think of it like maybe floating in water is equally relaxing. But then with gardening, you know, you get a great place to play or you get delicious food. One of the things I've done with my, um, I call I call my backyard my suburban homestead, <laughs> which I don't think it really is, but is every year when I've invested a little bit of money at the nursery by buying plants, because I always look at a plant as an investment, right? You know, they're like 20, 40, sometimes they're 50 bucks each, um, is I've been trying to do an almost all edible um yard so most most of what i've bought it has is going to be edible um technically the bamboo i got i think you could eat the shoots i got that more for privacy but they just haven't grown very fast um but like the trees i've been buying have been little dwarf fruit trees so that we can have fruit and the bushes i've been buying have been berry bushes um i've bought a couple little like hydrangeas and stuff over the years and some flowering bushes um but my yard is just like all my neighbors can see my yard so there's no amount of privacy bushes i can put in that would keep my yard more private so i was like well if i'm not looking for density year-round density of a plant i'm just gonna do edible things and i'm so glad i did because we've lived here three years now and it was so nice you know during pandemic time that i had had like that first those first couple months when i moved in I planted a couple, just a couple berry. I think like two, maybe three, three little berry bushes. Maybe it was two. It might have been just two little berry bushes. But we, it meant that we had fruit, you know, last year and the year before, and just a couple, like not enough to freeze or bake with, but just enough to be out in the yard eating. And I'm hoping this year we get a little bit of fruit from the three-year-old um, fruit trees, the new fruit trees that I planted while pregnant with her at 36. 30, was it 36 weeks? No. When did you come? You came at 37 weeks. So 30, it was 32, maybe I was 32 weeks. Here, no, let go over, sweetie, let go. No tormenting her. Um, aren't gonna, I don't think they're gonna fruit up yet, but I want them to, I'm impatient. Yes, my love. But I'm hopeful that the berry bushes I planted this year 
will fruit up. And then the roses I plant, um, you know, you can make beautiful little desserts with them. You can candy them. Uh, you can make rose water for your skin for self-care. I'll probably do a Patreon on that one. Um, like DIY from the yard kind of skincare treatments. Yes, my darling. And then I have two little raised beds this year. Last year I only had one. Um, yes. Hi, sweetie. So I'm going to try to... Be good. It's too early up here. You can't plant vegetables yet. Um, we still may get a frost and like there's snow projected possibly for in the next couple of days. I mean, probably not like here, but you know, in the general area. Um, so sometime in May, I'm going to try to get started. I'm going to try to tear my garden this year where careful, careful, sweeties, uh, where I've bought seeds now because you can't buy seeds up here in local stores past this like narrow window. So I'm going to hold on to those seeds and I'm going to direct sow them for a fall harvest. Um, and I'm going to buy the startlings, the little seedlings, um, in May. And so that I have, hopefully, all summer long, tasted del delicious yum yums. Hey, pet her down. Don't torment her. No being a bully. Let her be. Let her be. Come here, my darling. Come here. Yeah, I understand. Your voice, you have a right to voice your feelings. Abraham. Abraham. Stop tormenting her, you have to go to your room. If I have to say it one more time, you're in your room for a timeout. We're working on not being a bully. It's a very important skill, and it's not something that comes naturally to my son. Come here, my darling, come here. Um, and so we're working on that, we're working on it. You can see how the clouds are like going over the sun constantly because the light keeps changing. Hi, my darling. Hi, I love you. I love you. So I'm looking forward to doing a bunch of gardening this year because she's old enough now to come hang out and sit on the lawn with us and she enjoys it. Um, whereas last year she was, you know, a couple months old, a few months old and just hated being outside. Hated it. Oh, hello. Are you still you playing with your brother now? I love it when you guys play together. I love to see you guys play together. <laughs> there you go. I know you need help. You were stuck. I helped you. I helped you, my love. Um, <laughs> so let me know in the comments. Are you guys interested in seeing more of the garden stuff? I, I really love it from a relaxation point. I love to talk about it and share all about it. Um, and generally what I like to do on this channel is just kind of share my vlogs and my tips um, of my life. And I'm going through a big gardening phase. So, so let me know. Tell me. So that I can woohoo! Oh, that was my hair. Ow. Make a buckle load more vlogs on uh, garden and stuff. And I just want to—I'm going full cottage core this year. That's my vibe um, for the spring and summer. I sees, I sees that he has a sparkly water bottle in his hand. Yes, I see that. Thank you for telling me. Under you. <laughs> okay, biscuits. I will see you over on Instagram between now and the next video. Yes. Yes. Kara says, always check out the reels. Sometimes she makes a starring appearance and she gets very excited when that happens. I'm gonna go finish reading my, um, I'm very, I'm like, just strangely excited to read about this stuff. I don't know why. I, is it, I think it's the pandemic's done it to me. It's like, I just, you know, I wanna read about self sustainable things. Yes, I love you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry that your thing gets hurt. I know sometimes my thing gets hurt. I understand. Oh, okay, I'm going to see you in the next video. I have to feed these crazy monkeys, um, which means different meals for everybody because no one will eat all the same stuff. I know, yeah, if you bite your fingers, yeah, it hurts, definitely. Yeah. Biscuit's life lesson, don't bite the fingers that feed you if they're your own fingers because you can feel that pain. Mm, that's some kind of deep metaphor, and my eyes are too scratchy for me to fully grasp what it's about.